Some recent developments in the Gi Jiu Jitsu world. Hi, I'm Stefan Kesting from GrappleArts.com and I'm here with my friend Ostap Manisturski at Open Mat MMA in Toronto. And we were talking yesterday about some of the new things that are coming along in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and we're not sure yet if they're the, the next big thing or the next big worst thing ever. They might just end up being a way to totally stall out every Jiu Jitsu match and, uh, and make a bad situation even worse. Hmm. Or maybe it's going to be the next thing that opens up all kinds of crazy attacks, but either way, you should probably know about it. So, hmm. take it away, I'll stop. Okay, so the thing that you're kind of starting to see in tournaments nowadays, uh, I know that Meows uses this sometimes, Keenan uses it, and the biggest example I would say is the Braulio Estima versus, oh, sorry, versus Hidalfo match. So what I'm talking about is playing almost exclusively on your opponent's lapel. So if Stefan just throws a gi on. The position is in essence like a spider guard, but in spider guard, we're doing things on the sleeve. So I might be lassoing on the sleeve or having a grip here. But now people are starting to apply the same kind of concept, but they're doing it solely to the lapel like this. So there's various ways you can have your foot, you can have it over, you can have it under. But what, what's starting to happen is people are getting so tied up in the gi that the person on top is having a really difficult time passing. So even though Stefan might be like way past my guard, if I still have a foot in his lapel, I still have like quite a bit of control over his body. Show me. So, for example, if I'm here and Stefan like starts to go around, similar to like a spider guard, I still have this foot here and I can use it to help spin myself out and he can never really solidify a position. Mm -hmm. And certainly I can't submit you from that position with one arm dangling. Yeah, exactly. Here. So, kind of like one of the differences uh, compared to spider guard, in spider guard, someone has your arm under control, it's still your arm. So you can do things like, I can maybe go to the other side and try to throw your leg by, but like, Stefan doesn't have, like he can't manipulate his own lapel. So, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Hopefully, the passers on top will find a way of, of dealing with it, maybe preventing the grips. But uh, one of the cool things about jiu-jitsu is that like, it's a sport that's still growing, and we, we can kind of see like, how these techniques evolve and which way it's going to go. We'll all go to Taekwondo style pullovers soon that just are, right. are closed here and no lapel. Yeah. Well, can you give us some examples of things that people are starting to do with the lapel, like the lapel plata? Mm -hmm. Or uh, um, you know, spider guard on the uh, on the lapels. Right. So one grip that you see guys doing, and it's a great way to tie up the leg. So if Stefan's standing, so let's say I start in this position where I have this grip on the lapel. One grip that's really dominant is if I throw this leg to the outside, almost like a Dela Hiva hook, but what I'm actually gonna do is gonna come up over into the hip. From here, this time I'm just gonna get an underhook and then you pass the grip right here. This grip can become extremely hard to break, especially because it's sort of hidden behind Stefan's leg. Okay, so as opposed to me being at his ankle, he can strip the grip. Here it's much tougher. And like Stefan was saying, there's a, a lapel plata option. So all that means is it's like an omo plata, but it's on the lapel. So if I swing up here, and then I start to pressure him forward and over, I can sweep, come up, or at the very least, like really off balance him and start to get my game going. Can you show that this way, please, off step? Mm -hmm. so we're starting out on the lapel, ear foot to the outside, feed the grip, get some momentum with this leg going. And you can sweep your opponent over. And what about uh, offensively using? Sort of the spider guard on the lapel. Mm -hmm. So this is something that uh, I think it was in 2009 Cobrinha used. So in a certain sense, you can call him the originator of this sort of idea. But I remember he was playing kind of like this on the lapel here. And yeah, it's the same idea. It's sort of like spider guard. <laughs> I just don't feel like it can make an effective grip at all. Right, and I can always just try to <laughs> off balance you, and then again go wherever, wherever I see an opening. Okay. Well, it's a situation we'll certainly have to keep an eye on. I don't think there's any denying that people are going to try anything they can to win a match. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, well, thank you very much. Thank you.